Hi, my name is Adrian Gully with the Illinois Indiana Sea Grant, and I'm here with your Pollution Prevention Minute. Good to see you again. Today we're going to talk about something that you may have heard about in the news. What is that? Microbeads. What the heck are microbeads? They're the teeny tiny little plastic balls that you may find in your exfoliating facial cleansers. You know, that cleanser that makes your face really smooth and soft. I have some here. These microbeads have been separated out of facial cleansers that you can buy in any supermarket or drugstore. Look at how small they are. What you might not know is that microbeads are also in many of your other personal care products such as toothpaste, soaps, and some cosmetics. So a couple of the ingredients you want to look for on the back of your products are polyethylene and polypropylene. If these items are listed, this is the product that contains microbeads. And these are the ingredients President Obama signed a bill banning just recently. But why? They're just microbeads. What's the big deal? These teeny tiny microbeads are made of plastic. And when we brush our teeth or wash our face, they rinse down the drain and the soap containing microbeads, no bigger than a grain of sand, super small, ends up in our wastewater treatment plants. They're too small to be filtered out. That's when they end up in our waterways. So, people using the products all over the world every day, the water is now teeming with microbeads. Who wants that? Now here's why researchers are concerned there might be a problem. Plastic microbeads can bond to toxins in the water. So when hungry fish mistake them for food, they end up feasting on the toxic microbeads. But the researchers are still trying to learn how far along the food chain these effects are really felt. If you'd like to learn more about the scientists researching this issue, you can check out our Up Close series on our website featuring researchers Lorena Rios Mendoza and Sam Mason. These two scientists gave us in-depth interviews on their research on microbeats. That's it. I'm finished. Signing off. Adrian Gully. I'll see you next time.